Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode from Network From Home. Today we're talking about the WAN port on your router. We're going to be talking about what your WAN port is used for, what it needs to connect to, everything you need to know about the WAN port of your router. We'll cover that today. So let's dive right into it. Okay. So when it comes to your WAN port on your router, let's start at a high level. What does the WAN port even mean? Well, WAN, W-A-N, that stands for Wide Area Network. That's essentially a fancy way of saying the internet. So in other words, the WAN port on your router is the port that's used to connect your router to the internet. And we'll get into exactly how it does that and what it's connected to in a little bit here. So the bottom line, the WAN port, just think of internet connection. The next thing that we want to do is we want to identify where the WAN port is on our router. In most cases, your WAN port will be on the back of the device it will be an Ethernet port. So that gives you a little bit of a hint as to what it looks like. The challenge there is that your router will have more than one Ethernet port on the back of it. There's no reason to fear here, however, because your manufacturer will more than likely do a good job of identifying which Ethernet port is your WAN port and which Ethernet ports are used for devices to connect to your router with an Ethernet cable. Case in point, this is the back of my router. As you can see, there are some Ethernet ports here. There's another one here. Do you notice anything different about these two sets of Ethernet ports? Well, these four here, they're orange and clustered together. This one here is blue and it's by itself. So this one here is our WAN Ethernet port. And if you need more convincing, let's see if I can get a close-up. I should be able to zoom in here. Let's see. You might not be able to see it. But right here, it says Internet. And this is the same. Sometimes the Ethernet port will be labeled WAN. Sometimes it will be labeled Internet. But either way, that's the dead giveaway that that's how you connect your router to the Internet. Okay, so we've been talking about the fact that your WAN port is used to connect your router to the Internet. So what does that exactly mean? That means an Ethernet cable needs to connect to this WAN port and then it connects to another device. Specifically, we're talking about our modem here. The WAN port is used to connect your router to the back of your modem. Your modem is providing the internet connection for your router. And if we think about it upstream here, your internet service provider provides an interconnect, internet connection to your modem your modem then passes that internet connection to your router over the WAN port. And then your router passes that internet connection to the devices in your home. So let me show you exactly what that means here. Okay, so I've, bought, I've brought my modem into the picture here. We need to connect our router to our modem. The ethernet cable, one end goes into the WAN port, the other end and this should be very easy, it goes into the only Ethernet port on your modem. Your modem should only have one Ethernet port. Connect your Ethernet cable there, and there you go. That's exactly what the WAN port is used for. That allows your router to get the Internet connection from your modem, and it allows it to pass it to the other devices in your home network. All right, so that pretty much covers your WAN port. That's all you need to know. That's your wide area network port. 
It's used to connect your router to your modem so that way you can get an internet connection. If you have any questions about this information, feel free to drop a comment below. I will also link to a blog post that I've written on this topic. It gives a little bit more detailed information. You might find that useful. There are pictures and everything else. If you found this video useful, please hit the like or subscribe button. There's going to be plenty more material coming down the pipe here. I would also love to hear suggestions. If there's anything in particular you would like me to do to make a video on or write a blog post about. And as always, thanks for checking out this episode from Network From Home. We'll catch you on the next one.